their 100th anniversary, Milkbone held a contest searching for the dog who will become their first ever spokes dog. Thousands of entries were narrowed down to 100, and America voted it down to three based on the story each dog had to tell. The winner is going home with $100,000. That's a lot of money. Let's meet the first finalist. Please welcome Pat and his dog, Ruby. Come on out, Pat. Oh. Aww. Hi, Pat. Hey. Oh. Hi, this is nice to meet you. Nice I know, we said hello backstage. So, I'm, yes. of course, I always go right to the dog. Hey, thank you for having us on. Milkbone uh, dog biscuits, and of course that Mickey moment uh, contest they had to get us it's here. It's pretty great. Tell it's our story. You now, better. Pat, tell us why why your dog is so special. Because I know that Ruby helped you even get over certain fears you had and oh, anxieties. Yeah. Well, uh, we fostered her as a puppy about six months old. They had found her in an abandoned house, starving. Oh, she Ruby's a, a rescue! Yeah. Hi, Snuggle. Huge patches of fur missing. She spent three weeks in the hospital, and well, I had us foster her for one weekend. She never went back. You know how dangerous it is. I to believe foster. me. I know. And and so it's, you know, her story is foster dogs are good dog. You know, I really believe that they, uh, they're really appreciative of the life they get. I agree, and, yeah. And uh, so uh, I knew she had the, the makings to be a, a, a therapy dog first. And mm -hmm. she's done a lot of work on that. She wasn't cheaper by the dozen, the stage play. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ah, we got both your movies. We have, <laughs> we have something in common, Ruby. And Ruby does therapy work, right? With yep. the elderly. And, and uh, she's oh. in uh, the Minnesota Animal Hall of Fame for her work in the community. And, and, uh, and she also, oh no, the Snuggle Pop. Oh. See, this is the way the breed pit bull's supposed to be. The way most of them are this owned is, by a majority of people. Well, this is the way we know pit bulls when you, you know bad. the truth. You know, they're That's just right. gentle souls, and I feel yeah. badly that they get such a bad rap, but Ruby can change that along with Milkbone, recognizing her and how sweet she is, because she's, you know, she helps patients in nursing homes and everything else. Ruby makes them feel good, and she even helped you get on the plane, right, Pat? Yeah, 25 years ago, I was on a USO tour mm -hmm. to uh, Alaska, and we had uh, an abrupt landing, and it was unpleasant, and I have not flown since 1983. And my doctor said, you know, she's got her credentials. Let's just go one step further. Because he believes in the power of dogs. Mm -hmm. And he said, let's get her certified <laughs> as a service dog. And when we were on the plane, taking off was, was awful for me. But she put her paws on my lap, and then her head hard to my chest. Oh, well, there I am. You know, I've got to pet her. I've got to pay attention to her. Right. She did her job. Yeah, and so, they also lower well. our blood pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay, well, thank you, Pat, so much sure. for bringing Ruby here. Okay, Pat's our first finalist. Now we'll say hello. Oh, God, Pat, don't leave me down here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You're young. Come on now. <laughs> say hello to Melissa and her dog, Winston. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Winston. So, Melissa, tell us all about Winston, and welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. This is Winston. He's a two-year-old Great Dane. Oh, he's just a puppy still. Yeah, if we got him when he was... When he was young. So, so how big will he get? Um, I I'm think just this kidding. is about it. <laughs> I hope oh. so at least. Oh my gosh, he's like a horse. <laughs> he's a big, he's a big boy. Hi Winston, hi Pop. <laughs> so how, you, you got pup, just as a puppy and it's been two years of just a bunch of love, right? Yes, yes, we love him so much. When we first got him, he was probably about 10 pounds. He was seven weeks old and just this tiny little thing. And then he started growing like five to 10 pounds a week. And it was just crazy. He I've was done up that. to. <laughs> How did you get here? You can't take him on a plane, can you? Well, we didn't. We weren't sure about that. So we actually... Just put him in a pilot's uniform? And... <laughs> no, we put him... Actually, we rented a car and we drove all the way from Wisconsin. Oh. And yes, it was a long drive. Three days of driving. Oh, so it was my... crazy. Did you guys argue at all? No, but by, by the second day, we had to use milk bones to lure him into the car because he was done. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And I he bet slept he... the whole time and he was really, really good. Okay, so well, let us... a trooper. Well, let us know if you need any help getting back. We can switch. <laughs> off driving. That's good. My dad would appreciate that because he helped us drive. Oh, it's always good to have family helping you out. Well, Melissa, thank you so much and thanks for bringing Winston here. Good luck, Winston. All right, let's meet the remaining finalists. Please welcome Jacqueline and her dog, Wyatt. Jacqueline. Am I saying it right, Jacqueline? Yeah, good, okay. Oh, forget about it. This is a little boxer. So cute. <laughs> Thank you. Hello His there, Wyatt. Wyatt. Oh, Wyatt, this face, he looks like a person. <laughs> all right, so tell us all about Wyatt. Well, mm -hmm. Wyatt is a blood donor. So A blood donor? Yes, he donates blood every seven weeks. It's something that a lot of people don't really know about, uh, where you can actually go to a local facility in your state and donate blood to help save other dogs' lives. So he actually goes every seven weeks, he donates, and, and then it's shipped across the country. And you're a vet, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So how did you end up getting Wyatt? Uh, he was a rescue. Wyatt Aww. was a, um, a cruelty case, actually. And so I, they had called the owners, um, had surrendered him, and then I uh, adopted him and then made him a blood donor, and he loves it. I mean, it only takes, the whole process takes like three to five minutes, and he loves it the whole time. And he time. saves He's, other dogs' lives. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. if they have surgery or there's an emergency. Hit by car or anything like that, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Folks, <laughs> after the break, we're going to come back and announce which one of these dogs and their owners and get $100,000. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah. Is that scary? Too loud? Want tickets for the show? Woo! <laughs> Just log on to our website, bonniehunt.com, and we'll get you two on the aisle. Hot dog and root beer on the house. Okay, we're here with the three finalists from the Milkbone Spokes Dog Contest, and one of these dogs is about to win $100,000 and become the new face of the brand. Okay, the winner's name is in this envelope. Um, before we do that, I just want to say that the runners-up are each getting a lifetime supply of milk bones and will also appear, at, you know, their dogs will be featured on the milk bone box. So that's very exciting. There's other, there's other gifts for the runners-up. I just want to make that very, very clear. And also, Milk Bone is providing one of uh, my favorite shelters with a year's supply of, of, of milk bones, and that's really good. Okay, Nick. This is very exciting. A drum roll, please. And uh, here we go. The winner is Melissa's dog, Winston, the Great Day. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, Renata. There you go. I hope you have a big purse. Congratulations, Melissa. Winston was like, I can't believe it's me. Winston, it's you. You're a very famous, handsome model now. For milk bone. There, you, you, oh, are you okay here? Yes, honey? Here, let me put this here. I'm trying to get you to hold it. Thank you, Renata. You were a lovely spokesmodel as well. Um, I'd like to thank all our guests today, Molly Sims, Chris Jericho, and these great dogs and their owners. And we were talking during the break, and it's so important to rescue an animal if you have the love and the time, and just share that moment if you can. If you, don't, if you can't take the dog home, go and volunteer at a place for a couple of hours a week, right? Absolutely. And the blood donation is so important. Important. Right. And thank you so much for being here. We'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations!